We are back with Basic Computers 102. Basic Computers 101 essentially went over the equipment, some kind of general knowledge about the computer, and also typing, um, going over the keyboard to improve your typing skills. For Basic 102, it's going to focus on navigating the computer um, as well as the internet and uploading and downloading, for example. So we will jump into 102. My name is Amanda Hill with the Workforce Centers of South Central Kansas. Okay. So essentially, the start menu is one of the things that we covered in Basic Computers 101. And so if you remember from 101, the start menu is usually found in the lower left-hand corner. It will have some type of flag, um, like you see here, this one's colorful. On mine that I showed in a live view, it's just blue. Um, and sometimes on the older ones, it just says start. And so, you'll go there to find all of the different programs on your computer. And so this exercise is something that you can do is to go to the start menu, find the calculator, um, and then I'll also show you how you can search for certain programs in the search bar. I am going to kind of pop out of my PowerPoint so I can show you this in a live version. So here's my start menu. It's white, and then if I scroll over it, it's blue. I'll pull this up. This is in alphabetical order. I can find my calculator here. And we briefly, and I gotta move it over here to the screen, I apologize. We briefly talked about you know, what a window was and so how this was a window because it had where you can minimize, make this bigger, or you can close it out. Um, and so here's my calculator. Just by going to the start menu, you're able to see all of the different programs in alphabetical order. Then the next thing it wants us to do is it wants to type in the search bar the program that we're looking for. So let's say you're having trouble finding the calculator or you're having trouble finding um, the word program. Because sometimes those things are hidden in different folders. Like sometimes you might find a calculator under accessories or you might find your word program under Microsoft Office. Um, and so sometimes you might have struggle with that. And so if you click this little magnifying glass, which says uh, type here to search, in each version of Microsoft, whether it's 2013, older, 2016, might look a little bit differently, but you should see some type of magnifying glass and you can do a search and you'll type in what you're looking for. So I'm just gonna type in the word Word. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to search for anything that has the word Word in it. So we'll find that we have Word, which looks like Microsoft Word here. We also got Word Pad, and it looks like it even picked up Cisco WebEx Meetings. Um, but if we were trying to find the Word Microsoft Word program, we could just click from it here. Also, like I said, if you didn't know where the calculator was, you could just type in calculator. And then now there it is. So if you are missing something on your computer, let's say you saved a file, your resume, and you're not really sure where you saved it to, you can type in what you named your resume and it should be able to find that here within that search. And so we'll move on to the next slide. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back up. All right. So I mentioned earlier that the windows have, you know, where you can make it smaller, larger, or close out the program. So to make it smaller, we call that the minimize button. And so it looks kind of like a little um, minus sign. Um, to make it larger, and we would call that the maximize button. And that button, which is the middle one, changes. So sometimes it may look like a big window, 
which is going to make the window bigger. And then sometimes it may have two windows kind of side by side, um, as you see here on the screen. And that's called restore down. And so if it's already at its largest size, maxed out, then you'll see the two windows and that will then shrink it. Um, so that way you can see more than one window at once, which is why it's kind of pictured like that. And then you've got the close, which is the X. Um, and so that's gonna close the program out entirely. So the key thing to remember with that is if you're in the middle of something, typing up your resume, typing up a letter, et cetera, and you hit the X and you haven't saved your information yet, whatever you've done, you're gonna lose. Or if you're on the internet surfing around and you're on a page and you click the X, once you click the X, it's gone. Um, so minimize is gonna bring it down to the taskbar. So that's gonna make it almost look like it disappears, but it's gonna be hiding for you in your little project space. And maximize, make it larger. Restore down is going to bring it smaller so you can see more than one screen. And then the X is closed. So that will kind of wrap up, you know, how you can change the size of the window that you're working in. So what I'm going to do is go back over here um, to the calculator and Word windows and kind of show you around here. Um, with what we have done. So, I'll pull up the calculator. And this one, it's saying it wants us to go ahead and close out of it. So to close out of it, we're gonna click the X, so that immediately just takes it away. And then for the Word window, I'm gonna open me up a new Word document. Here one is. And so if it looks like this right now, we've got our minimize, and this is the large windows. That means it's not at its biggest size yet. So if I click the maximize button, now it's taken it to the full screen. Um, now you'll notice though that I have these two windows and that says restore down when you scroll over it. And so that again will bring it down to that smaller capacity. And that's so that you could do something like this. So I've got another Word document here, which kind of goes over our scripting for this class. And so you could kind of stagger these boxes um, and then you can even reposition these and resize them um, so that they fit better as well. And we're gonna be going over um, some of the resizing, but with the resizing it, if you scroll over the border, it will bring some type of arrow and this allows you to scrunch it in or pull it out. Same thing with the corners, pull in, pull out, to change the size and the shape of those boxes. And so this way, if you were kind of needed to look at two things at once, you could potentially do that. You can be typing while you're looking at this on this other screen, okay? And so then again, if you hit the X, that totally closes it out. But if you hit the minimize, what it does is that brings it down here to your taskbar. Um, and so you can pull it back up again. And so I definitely want my scripting again. I'm gonna go ahead and make it large and I'm gonna move it away from the screen though. All right. So when you minimize, it does go to that taskbar and that's kind of what this is showing you if you were to do that. Um, so I did show it to you in the live form, um, but that's the picture of the taskbar and where the information goes when you minimize. And then if you click it in the taskbar, it's gonna reopen up. And so for changing the size and position of the window, we just went over that as far as taking those arrows 
um, when you go around the border and pulling them out or pushing them in to change the size and the shape of those windows. But you do have to make sure that the screen is in the restored down position because you can't resize it when it's in the full screen because you're not going to be able to pull and drag and get your arrow to be there so that you can do that. 